Hey everyone, Dr. Eric here from Adio Chiropractic. So let's talk about the sympathetic um, response or the gas pedal response of our nervous system, that, that fight and flight or freeze state of our nervous system. And what does that entail? What, you know, when it comes to our kids, what could that look like if our kids are stuck in this fight and flight freeze response or this gas pedal, you know, protective state. You know, what can that look like? And now when we get into that fight response, you know, that is a full range of behavior struggles, um, passive aggression to sarcasm and abuse to just random, you know, aggression towards strangers and the temper tantrums, the meltdowns on that. And then we get into the, the flight response. And this isn't just when I talk about flight, it's not like just running away from things. It, it includes actively avoiding people and situations and places. Um, it can be simply withdrawing from social interactions. Um, and so they're more isolating themselves to um, TV, video games, or um, activities that are very one person oriented because their body is, if their body's stuck in that gas pedal fight and flight response, you know, one thing that can, you know, come out is it impacts the social interaction because the, the vagus nerve, which is the boss when it comes to the brake pedal, um, the, the parasympathetic part of the nervous system, which is that rest, relax, digest aspect of the immune system or of the nervous system, um, that that vagus nerve is part of that social interaction. And if we're stuck on the opposite side, which is the gas pedal, that fight, flight, and freeze response, social interaction can be hugely impacted in these kiddos. And these are why they get severe anxiety in school or in group settings, or, you know, they just constantly want to be by themselves and isolating. Um, and I see this so many, many times in kids. Um, and it just, it bothers me so much because I was one of those kids. I was a kid that dealt with severe anxiety and I was in that severe sympathetic fight and flight freeze response and for most of my life. And it was a struggle making friends. It was a struggle actually being in group settings because I just literally would, my anxiety would increase so much and I would just sit there or stand there or you know try to find somewhere where I could be by myself or I would avoid actually hanging out with big groups because I didn't want to be in those situations because just the thought of it really just increased my anxiety even though like 90% of the time when I'm in those situations nothing bad is like actually happening you know I'm you know our kids and you know I exactly because in that situation when I was a kid you know, you're worrying about, you know, getting put into a situation where, you know, someone's going to ask you a question you're not going to know or they're going to make you do something. And so you're always building that anxiety of like, oh, I don't want to do that. And the thing is, it's like 90% of the time that never even happens. So you're increasing that anxiety and it starts this vicious cycle because what happens is when we're in that sympathetic state, we release these stress hormones and what happens is if we're stuck in that stress response it starts this vicious cycle which then just keeps on releasing and um you know these stress hormones and stress chemicals and it creates this chemical imbalance which is why a lot of times we have medications for anxiety depression um, hyperactivity to um, behavior challenges because they're looked at as a chemical imbalance, but are they really a chemical imbalance or are they a neurological issue, which is resulting into the chemical imbalance? So are we just covering up and finding a stickier Band-Aid with the medications or wouldn't it just make more sense to address the first underlying issue and take that stress 
off of the nervous system so that that nervous system can calm down and that gas pedal can slow down by pumping those brakes and starting to turn back on that vagus nerve, start turning back on that brake pedal and start allowing our kids to be able to express life, to be able to um, adapt and have more resiliency and just have proper function in today's environment so that they're not constantly in this stress, fight and flight and freeze response. And that's why I'm so passionate because I saw my life transformed um, and how I can interact and I don't want other kids to have to struggle with that. And that is why if you have a kiddo that is struggling, please attend one of our workshops, one of our anxiety, ADHD and sensory workshops, because what we're going to do is we're going to dig into this information, the science behind what's going on with kids and the science behind what we do and how it's all connected and how we can get these kids out of this storm, how we can get these kids to calm down and relax and start having better lives and be able to adapt better to their environment and just have a better quality of life and start expressing life to the fullest instead of not. So go to the link that's provided and I will and register for one of our next upcoming workshops. You will not regret it. It will change your life. It will change your family's life. It will change your kid's life for the better. So I look forward to seeing everyone at one of our next upcoming workshops and have a great day. Bye.